Young Jock in the streets morning to take over, boy. You know we lit how we get down. What up, Miss Shanika? What up? Good morning. Shout out shout in the building. Yes, sir. All right, look here, man. We got to get into it, man. This morning, we got some beautiful people checking in, man. I'm talking about possibly one of the most uh, gorgeous women you've ever laid your eyes on. From yes, television, honey. from the big screen, from just seeing her around, being a uh, personality, being a women's health advocate, <laughs> a mother, and more. Ladies and gentlemen, in the building, please, let's welcome Cynthia Bailey. Yay! Yay! Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, now we got you here this morning, yes. Cynthia. It's a beautiful thing. We got you here. Oh, my God. <laughs> Me and Ms. Nico, we, we was having some conversations about some people uh -oh. who need to be and who don't need to be on the red carpet. We ain't going to worry about the people that don't need to be. We'll say that for when they get here yes. and get in front of the mic. But today we got to talk about the people who belong and deserve their spot on that red carpet. Yes, to okay, grace somebody red it. carpet. If we ever have a red what? carpet event... <laughs> I started there. We should have just rolled out the damn red carpet for you to see her today. Listen, <laughs> now you just showed me a picture, Miss Shanika. Yes. Let's talk about what what was this? Because we got to ask you about it. What was this picture from? Was it Creed? Yeah, it was the Creed three premiere. Yeah. Yo. And I actually wasn't in the movie, although I did shut down the carpet. You did shut, do yo. that. <laughs> did do that. So I just want to say this. Let me put the disclaimer out there. Okay, put it out there. You know, I'm a happily married man. When I saw your picture. I said, wait a minute, no. <laughs> what in the hell going? But then it dawned on me. You about to be single? About to be single? No, I am no, single. She, uh, yeah. I oh, am done. Officially divorced. Oh, sh I just didn't want to overspeak. I went officially divorced. Officially, yes. So is it safe to say that Cynthia, I'm sorry, the Cynthia <laughs> Bailey is back outside? It is very safe to say that the Cynthia Bailey is back outside. Oh, boy, these people in trouble. Out here. Somebody <laughs> in trouble. And Somebody in, in trouble. And back spending, in Atlanta. Spending a lot more time in Atlanta and uh, back at Lake Bailey. I don't know if you need to be outside in Atlanta. <laughs> I don't know. If, the pool a little different here in Atlanta. You know yeah. that. I don't got to tell you. You knew well, it before I knew it. Well, home base is Atlanta. You know, I still work in L.A. and also New York. So I love the fact that you still have Lake Bailey to go back to, although you were married. Yes. And some people think that that means that you have to give up your possessions mm -hmm. before. But my mom taught me a long time ago, no, honey, you got to have something <laughs> For yourself on the side and you know it's just commendable that you did have that to come back to well thank you you know i when i bought like well i'm buying lake bailey still you know it was my happy space it was my peace you know i live on the lake it's very secluded um i love it there and i'm really i did think about selling it once i got married but something in my spirit and soul thank you jesus i decided to Ooh, hold on to it my God. and um you know my daughter's my daughter noelle lives in la after my divorce i thought about like okay what am i gonna do am i gonna stay in la you know go back to atlanta and um i went back to lake bailey and i just feel more at home here in atlanta right now as oh, i go through that. this process of being single and rebuilding wow so how is that for you getting back into this dating world? Because honestly, I, I can't even imagine. I'm hearing people's stories on a <laughs> daily. How is this journey for you? Then? It's very interesting. Um, dating has changed a lot. And you have to realize I'm in a very specific category. I'm, you know, I just turned 56 like a week ago. Certain age. So, Happy certain belated well, certain birthday. Age. Certain, Thank certain you. credit score. Yeah. <laughs> And I have all my stuff. Like, I, I'm, I'm a whole person. Like, all I need is, you know, my person to show up and, you know, us be great together. So, I don't know. You know, it's it's crazy because I prefer to date men around my age. But I will have to say. Oh, you scared me. Uh, Hold on, wait. You scared me. You scared me. Oh, wait, you scared me. I, 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 I was like, no, ding, ding, ding. I do, but what's happening is, these, 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 it's, it's, I'm telling y'all, these younger guys are the ones that are stepping up to the plate. So I need the men in my age range to do a little better now with sliding up in them DMs or however you got to figure out how to wow. get to me. Because the young ones are like, I can figure this out. So, so what are we doing? What, what type of man are you looking for? Or what type of man do you think would uh, suit you? I want someone who is, at peace with himself, who is successful, who is a whole person. Mm -hmm. um, I want a nurturing man this time. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm a, I'm a nurturer. Mm -hmm. Like, I am a giver. I like taking care of my man. Mm -hmm. And um, 
I want them to, you know, bring that reciprocity back to me as well. I like that word. That's a good word, reciprocity. Yeah, it is. Reciprocation, you know, things, you know, have to be reciprocated. Has Peter reached back out to you since your divorce? Yeah, I actually spoke to Peter not that long ago. Yeah. I mean, we, we are, you know, we have a very cordial, respectful relationship. Straight up, straight up. And, um, you know, I'm always wishing him well. That's good. Would you guys ever date again? Um, No, I don't think so. I, I really don't like to backtrack. Backtrack. Okay. Because I really feel like by the time I leave the situation, I probably should have left like <laughs> probably a year before I left the situation. Hmm. So by the time I go, I'm a Pisces woman. When I'm in, I'm in. But once I'm out, I'm out. But I like being friends with my exes. Well, did Peter did Peter think there was a possibility, <laughs> knowing you was getting a divorce, knowing you was, uh, you're single now, did he think there may be a possibility of you guys getting back together? I can't speak for Peter. Right. Uh, I don't know what he's he just thought. Wanna, but, he just won't know that he hasn't uh, said anything yeah. like that. Um, you know what? He wished me well. He told me that I deserve to be happy. And, um, you know, I'm, you know, he's, he's rooting for me. Is that like the protocol? Is that what you're supposed to do to come off like mature and, and <laughs> right. as a person who's grown? I, I just want to wish you well. That's really, I'm really like, I really would like to. I mean, we don't got to get married. You know what I'm saying? It's just in case. Mm -hmm. You know, Cynthia, she does, um, you know, after these relationships, she doesn't speak ill of the people that she once loved. And that's very respectable. It's honorable. Yes, it is. Because you were once in love exactly. with these people. And, you know, you don't spew that out. So to be able to be like, okay, well, it didn't work out. But, mm -hmm. you know, we can still be cordial. Is Ladies a good and gentlemen, thing. this is plausible. This is a plausible. No, no, but, but it's true though, because like if I love you, it's giving grown. Even if we are not together anymore, I still have love for you. I really, honestly do. I do. I, I have love for anyone who has been a part. I of my believe that and a part of my life. And now I'm not saying if we have some issues, you know, I won't get in that that but off camera. But I'm not the type of woman who would like just bring my drama to the street like that. And in, in terms of um, men that I've been with. I love it. Yeah. I love but it. But I'll get you together behind the scenes. So, so <laughs> speaking of behind the scenes, we got to bring it to the front. We got to yes. get, we're we, we going to get behind, from behind the camera. Let's step in front of this camera. The reason you're here today. Yes. That's a new movie. Yes. I don't want to just call it a movie. It's a motion picture. It is a motion picture. It's an epic saga. Epic saga. One like full that. of drama. Yes. One that boasts a beautiful Cynthia Bailey in this movie. <laughs> And you guys are in the movie as well. Yeah. yeah we're going to get to that later. We were, we were trying to big you up because <laughs> this new movie, Under His Influence. Yes. Let's get into it. Let's talk okay. about it, how it came about. Let's just let's just break this down. Okay. Um, well, I was actually offered the role of Ashley playing Sydney Mitchell's mom. And um, I was excited to do it. You know, this acting journey is still new for me. Mm-hmm. It hasn't actually been that long. It's been like maybe a year since I started my transition from um, reality TV. Unscripted to scripted. Uh, yep. And it's been incredible. It's been incredible. Like, there's not a role too small for me to take. Like, I pretty much am like, okay, <laughs> I can be in a movie. I can act. Yeah, let's do it. So I was excited to be a part of this with this project that Marcus and Deshaun uh, gave me this gracious opportunity because I really you know, this is what, this is my next chapter. This is what I want to focus on. Um, you know, you guys will still see me pop in and out, you know, from time to time to play with the girls on The Real Housewives of Atlanta and doing other television projects. But I love acting. It's something that I've always wanted to do, but this is the first time that I've decided to make it a priority and actually just focus on it. And I'm having a ball. Now, this is, this movie, to our listeners who may not know, this movie stars Sidney Mitchell and Iman Shumpert. Mm -hmm. um, Amazing. Talents. Great storyline. Yes. I, I mean, I, you know, it's weird when we're doing interviews about uh, something so great. You can't break it. You want to get into it and talk about it as much as you can, but you really want to push the people to go watch it and yes. see it for themselves. It's a great movie. Now, so you play the mother in this film. Yes, I do. What was she that was like? was getting her together, honey. Oh. Because <laughs> it's, like it's like seeing you from a whole nother space. Like, you know, when we know you as this gracious woman, this model, this loving person i don't think you was still that in this movie but you was like you somebody mama that we, we got a chance to see from a different space oh yeah well you know 50 cent always lives inside <laughs> of me it just he has to have a reason to come out you know i am a mom 
So yeah. I was, you know, that was easy to tap into. I have a young daughter. Noel, you know, is 23 years old. She grew up in the social media era. And uh, this definitely has been a big part of her life. And she actually is an influencer as well <laughs> as an actress herself. So uh, I think this part was perfect for me. And, um, you know, as a mom, you know, you're always just going to be very protective of your kids. But at a certain age, they're just going to do a bunch of, like, dumb stuff. And I think the thing about social media is what people will love about this movie is it's real. Like, yeah. we could all get caught up. Like, people are really, like, sliding in your DMs for real. And you don't know who's who or if it's really them or what's really happening. And, um, you know, I think the social media culture will do pretty much anything for likes and popularity. Mm, that's mm-hmm. scary. And that's, you know, that can be scary. And it ends up, I'm not going to give too much away about the movie, but my daughter, um, Sydney, who plays Diamond in the movie, ends up, you know, getting caught up in a situation that could have, you know, where she could have, well, I, I don't want to say too much. She could have gotten very hurt. Yes. And it's real. It's a real um, culture that we live in. So what was your biggest, um, with the transition from reality Mm -hmm. to scripted, what was the biggest uh, hurdle that you had to get over with the different types of film and different days and the different Mm -hmm. focus you had to have? As a reality star, just trying to, you know, I've played myself for over a decade on The Real Housewives of Atlanta. As an actress, I had to lose Cynthia a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because... What was helpful? What was helpful to me transitioning was the fact that I'm used to cameras. I'm used to um, being around production and all that stuff. But I'm just, you know, that part was like very natural for me. But then I had to like somehow separate and just be able to really break down characters and really, you know, I didn't want you guys to be like, oh, that's Cynthia from Housewives. I want you guys to be like, oh, that's Cynthia. Oh, oh my God! And you that's what, what I, mean? I said. I said, okay, Cynthia. Like when we see you on the red carpets. <laughs> damn, Cynthia. Sin- damn. Sin- <laughs> Be trying to get people to um, say they night. What's up, Sid? <laughs> Sid. That's 2023, Cynthia on the red carpet. <laughs> so, so with this, with this film, I, I just want to ask you. I just want to just just know, like, who would you consider the breakout actor in this movie? Ooh, breakout star. Wow. Well, I mean, Sydney did her thing. Sydney yes. Mitchell is so talented, without question. But I have to give she it up dope. for my man Iman. Like, he is just made for for this. Um, he's such a natural. He's he's so good in this movie I I was like really blown away with with his performance and even just working with him his process like he's just so chill and cool like I mean like they carried the movie I had like you know a small (laughs) part like I was like walking around like I gotta remember my lines and mom would just be walking around like yo what's up what we doing I'd be like how is he so calm and like then you know we start filming and he just gets right into it but um it might be the weed I don't (laughs) know (laughs) (laughs) he was definitely very calm very calm (laughs) <laughs> but what's, but you know what's funny though? We so when you spoke on it earlier, we got a chance to play ourselves in the movie. Yes. In the movie, in this film. And I didn't know who I was gonna be dealing with as far as Iman in front mm-hmm. of the camera. Mm-hmm. And um when he sat down, I actually was I thought we were interviewing the character. Right. I, I didn't right. know that I was interviewing Iman and we actually started to get into the story because as we was asking questions. We got caught up in the story. I'm looking around, and we didn't even want to stop filming. Yeah. We wanted to keep going. And uh, it's interesting the way the plot. Yeah, mm-hmm. we were surprised. Oh, man. Yeah. The pl- because we had done bought into it. Like We did. We, we caught, got caught up in this character. This is a new age love story. Yes. And that's yes. where we were. Crazy. Crazy. Miss Anika. Okay. So, um, Cynthia, you mentioned that you are going to play with the girls sometime. Now, we did see your exit. Your, I guess it was some sort of retirement from the Housewives of Atlanta. Will we be seeing you on the new season? Yes, you will see me pop in and out okay. in a friend capacity, but not even an official friend. Uh, again, acting is what I'm focused on the most. Mm-hmm. But I, you know, like I said, if I'm in Atlanta and the girls, you know, I have a great relationship with pretty much most of the cast. So, if you know, they're inviting me to things. I want to go and support them. So, we may as well get paid for it. So, we, we've heard a thing <laughs> of, I guess, a lot of actors or people that are, you know, serious about mm-hmm. their acting careers, not really wanting to work with people that have mm-hmm. a reality TV background. Have you ran into any of that? Oh, absolutely. Okay. 100%. Well, you know, it's so it's so competitive already, just even with the, 
you know, the actors that have been in the game for years to just continuously work. Um, my daughter's dad, Noel, uh, Noel's dad, Leon, is an actor. And I've been able to, like, I remember when he did the Temptations where he played David Ruffin. And, you know, at that time I was still mom whatever. Did. I just had Noel and his <laughs> process is like crazy. Like he never came out of character the whole wow. time he shot that. Like, like I, I called him David. If I, if I was like, <laughs> Leon, can you take out the trash? He would just walk right past me and I'd be like, I'm sorry, David, can you take out the trash? He'd be like, oh yeah, I got you. So he's a method actor. Yes, absolutely. 100%. You know, you, you know what's interesting? Uh, we interviewed Tammy mm-hmm. Roman. Yeah, she's great. And, uh, you know, she... She disclosed some things that I, I wasn't aware of. She, I didn't know that she came from acting first, um, but because you know she's done so much the real you know, world, the mm-hmm. real world, and, and this the basketball wise, all this reality TV. She was basically saying the same mm-hmm. thing of how hard it was, uh, you know, for people to take you serious. Oh, absolutely! I feel like we have a lot more to prove coming from the reality TV space because a lot of times, um, you know, I, I just I just don't think they take us seriously. But I mean, a lot of us, a lot of us have gone on to, you know, to prove that to not be true so much. So for me, I always try to over deliver. Like I'm always, I'm that, you know, that girl on set going, you know, can I do it again? Like, is that good? Like, yeah. Can I see the footage? Like, yeah. I, I think I can do better. Like, I really want to be respected in this industry, but I want to earn that respect. And I know the only way that I could do that is to show up and um, show out. 